All of you following this channel know that I made a separate review about the Logitech Slim Folio. It is pretty expensive. It is still cheaper than the original Apple keyboard here, which is around 200 euros. Um, while this one is around 140. But I tell you what, on this video about this Logitech keyboard, I also got comments with an alternative, which is this one. And well, if you compare the packages, yes, there's a difference, yeah? Here, you're paying for the design. Is the design really worth double the price? Can this thing keep up with the Logitech Slim Folio? You will be surprised. So let's get this out here. So there's not much in there except this case. There we go. And here it is. It looks already very slick, isn't it? So um, I like the feel of the outside. It looks, compared to this one, it is pure black. I don't know if you can see the color difference. So this one is pure black. That's grayish thing and so on. But it is a bit bigger and why you will see in a second. But if you have the Apple Pencil here, it will be the same size, yeah, compared to the Logitech. So let's open this and uh, I put back everything back in and there, you see already the lights are on and they are, they are colored, okay. And here is the big difference. Let's put in the Apple iPad Pro 2018. And I will use the other iPad Pro and add it to my Logic Tech. So we have a direct comparison. So now we have the iPad Pros in both cases, okay? On the Logitech, you have no protection on the side, while on the InnerTech one, you have protection on the side as well. So for the Logitech, you have the protection only on, on the corners. The other thing is obviously that the Logitech got this flap, which some people are actually annoyed that this is there. So it isn't on the inner tech one. So you can put the Apple Pencil just on top and carry it around like this. It is not as nice as for example with the Suku case, but it actually made the shape of the Apple Pencil perfectly in the lower one, which is the Suku case. And on top we have the inner tech case where it's not the same. So you see when I put it down, fits perfectly. It's not the case on here. So what this actually means is that it stands up a bit and it might lead to the problem that you could stick here and it falls off, okay? However, they have a workaround as they added on the bottom here a place where you can actually put the Apple Pencil. So it's secured, it's not charging all the time, so uh, for the Logitech in comparison, you are adding it on top and then you put the flap around and that's it. And here as well, you can stick on there on somewhere. And you also can put it in here so it won't charge when you close the flap. But now let's go to the keyboard and that's the very interesting part here now because I really like the keyboard from the inner tech compared to the keyboard from Logitech. So both are backlit, but on the inner tech you can change the color actually. And now let's see how the comparison of the writing is. So if you want to write with the Logitech Slim Folio, you just have to put it like this. There are magnets, it will stand like this and you can start to write. Here it's a bit more complicated. There is not such a stand. You have actually to pull out the back and then you can adjust it like this in different positions, which is not possible on the Logitech in different positions. So if you compare these two different keyboards with each other, you see this one has an angle which you can just adjust and you can just pull down. So it's flat or you have it like this and it's in this position, whereas you have here always flat. So I like this also with the flap here. So you have a place where you can rest your hands, whereas this is not available here. And like for the Logitech one, you got a charger here, but the problem is it's a mini USB. So they really have a great solution on Logitech one, because there you can just use the normal USB-C to USB-C where you 
charge your iPad anyway and stick it into your Logitech Slim Folio and also into your iPad and will charge here. You need a USB-C to mini USB cable to charge the whole thing on the go and it's not included in the package. Of course, you can just use a normal mini USB and charge the keyboard anyway. But now let's talk about the keyboard. And what I really like about the keyboard, I'm not sure why Logitech made a mistake here. The sun buttons here actually will adjust the brightness of your display, which is not the case on the Logitech one. On the Logitech one, it will change the brightness of the keyboard instead of the display. And that's useless in my opinion because you have three different steps of lightness on the Logitech one compared to this one. And always keep in mind and that's much more uh, needed. So for the Logitech one, I always have to go in here if I want to adjust the brightness. And you can see also that the Logitech one got only 14 buttons on top, whereas we have 17 buttons here on the InnerTech keyboard, which also includes select all, copy, copy paste, cut out, and now we have something very important here for many people. Okay, there's an extra delete button. There's the backspace button and a delete button. So this means if you're writing something, I can go in between and press the delete button and the backspace button. So that's what people are actually missing from the normal keyboards and it is available on here. And again, this is half the price of the Logitech Slim Folio. We can adjust the colors here. So you can see I can make this green. In the middle I can do it bluish and on the right blue. So we actually see the paperless movement colors here. So let's switch off the light so you might be may, maybe see the colors better. Let's put it like this and you see even with the lights on. The lights are very bright, whereas you see on the Logitech one at the moment, the lights are on, but you can't see it at all that there are any lights in the background. So of course you can put the Apple Pencil on top here. And uh, I must say it is really nice. So the feeling about the keyboard is it feels really nice to write. So I would actually love to have this keyboard on the Sugu case. That would be awesome. It is just around 60 euros compared to the 140 euros the Slim Folio costs or the 200 euros the Apple keyboard costs. It is just an awesome deal. Now let's make the weight differences. So you can see it's 1,400 grams for the InnerTech uh, case. Whereas it is, it is 3,340 grams for the Logitech one. So I'm surprised here now that because I would have thought that the Logitech is heavier, but it's actually not the case. So this one is about 50 grams heavier and I know many complain already about the weight and bulkiness of this uh, case from Logitech already. However, if you don't mind about the weight, then I think this is a great deal. The thing I don't like are the buttons. So there, it's a usual problem with the buttons because also for the Logitech one, at least you feel that you are pressing the buttons because it's clicking. Here, you don't feel it at all. So this is really bad here. I have to say this is really bad, especially compared to the Subo case, which is the best solution for the buttons. However, of course, you don't have a keyboard in the Subo case. But if you don't need a keyboard and you want to use a external keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard, then I still recommend using the Subo case as I showed you in another video already. So as you're paying a lot less than for the Logitech Slim Folio and you want to save the money on this, I know many say, oh, you bought already an expensive iPad Pro. Why would you save money? In this case, you get a bit more for your money, actually, I think. If you don't mind about the button feeling here, especially the keyboard is much better than using the Logitech Slim Folio. So if you think this video was interesting, share it with your friends, tell your friends about the paperless movement, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below what keyboard case you are actually using. And I see you next time.